Yo, man, check it, man. Hey, man. Dr. Rose is here. It happened. It's going down. Man. Boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Let me ask you about when I came to your office yesterday. Mm -hmm. It was like an office I never been to. <laughs> Let me be real with you. Y'all was in there having a good time. Usually when I go in that thing, I'm really like nervous as hell. <laughs> uh, I'm sitting there yeah, waiting my hates. turn. I don't like none of the mess y'all got going mm -hmm. on. But I'm gonna be rocking with you. You you gonna fix me up? <laughs> I, I already done figured that out. Yes, sir. I, I know. I, I I already told my wife mm -hmm. like I'm going to and rock with him. He gonna fix me up. But at the end of the day, I got there, man, and, and just the way you carried yourself, man. Thank you. Come on, let's go. That ain't. How you doing? I'm the right way. Good. Yo. 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 Man, we over here, man. We have Dr. Rose Aesthetics, man. It's about to go down. We about to go in here and check him out, man. Check that wall out right there. Nice footage. Did you already? You must already got that. You see the picture right there? Dope, dope, dope right there. That's dope right there. Get that. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I You got the comfort rose aesthetics hoodie. You like that? You can have it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you see how favorite is? Favorite ain't fair. I passed it three times. It can't be fair. But I'm not going to ask for the session today because we're going to do the interview tomorrow. So I'm going to make sure we're on my action. Because I'm a very curious person. I understand that it came to this because you, you vary your number. The number of guys who are in this industry uh, have a conversation to accomplish. It's not that many. So you're going to have a class count by yourself. It's going to be loud. Because when you look around Dallas, do you see men? I don't see it all by the office. I don't pay attention. Because it made me feel like I belonged. You know what I mean? Thank you. I so thank that's you. that's a that's a dope thing. But how did you come up with that to get away from the traditional ways that offices are being ran? Because I know you've seen them. You know, and this is how you can go. Like, you can mix both, right? Because, you know, they always say you can't work as a family because it crosses lines. But that's when you have to find God. Mm. You know, in order to get that structure that you will find in a Fortune 500 company mm -hmm. because they operate off principles. You know, we operate off love. Sometimes love don't have principles. You know what I mean? Because we love our people, so we want to bring them up with us. So now you got to find God in order to operate with principles in love. You know, to know that, hey, these are the boundaries that are set in front of me. To know that, hey, everything has a consequence. Everything. And with family, it can go thin, like it can go like literally blurred because, you know, you can let yourself and be yourself with your family, but sometimes you can't show that in this world over her, you know, and it's dangerous because, you know, they may take this, they play poker all the time. Mm -hmm. They'll watch you get riled up and that aggression that works over here with family, that scare tag, this shit, it don't work over here with them. Mm -hmm. Cause they got them people on their side and they got contracts and they got say, Hey, I'm coming out to you. If you do something to me, mm -hmm. I'm going home good. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to charge you what I charge you. Mm -hmm. You know, where we operate in a thin line of like love, hate, but we go both ways. Cause it's so emotion based. That's yeah. the one thing I'm scared of because then like when you treat everybody you work with as family and stuff, sometimes people can, you know, not look at you as the boss anymore. They're, they're mm -hmm. looking at you like, Oh, I'll come in late. I'll do this. I'll do that. It's like, it's, but that's when they start respecting your leadership. You know, yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm not the boss. I'm your leader. Mm -hmm. You know, which means I have the bosses provide pay. I provide abundance. Okay. You know, I provide a lifestyle to say, hey, this is healthy over here. This is good. If you want to stay in this area, this is going to always be here because teeth, you manifest light through teeth, through smiling. Yeah. Speak more into life every day. Smile. That's what smile stands for. Mm -hmm. So it must start with a smile. Right. So I'm letting people know like over here is good over here. You know, we know how to learn. We got to have discernment. But, you know, we good over here. Wow. And that's why I can always say, you know, my lane is good.
Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.